Hey everybody, welcome. Today we're diving into the secrets of successful sales. So grab your favorite drink, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. Now mastering the art of sales is a journey. It's not just about being charming, it's a strategic process. We're breaking it down into seven steps, each with its unique flavor. So stay tuned. First up, it's all about building rapport. Picture this as the foundation of a strong relationship. Whether you're selling a product or a service, people buy from people they know, like and trust. Building rapport sets the stage for a lasting connection, increasing the likelihood of repeat business. Imagine remembering a customer's name, their last purchase. You ask about their day. Simple gestures that create a positive impression and set you apart from the competition. You need to get to know your, your customer or client. You find out more about what they like, what their interests are, their sport, their habits, or anything you've got in, co in combination that you can actually build that rapport. Now moving on to identifying needs. This step is like being a detective. You're trying to uncover the unique needs and pain points of your customer. Understanding their needs allows you to tailor your pitch, making your product or service the perfect solution. Let's say you're selling software. By asking the right questions, you discover a customer's struggle with data management. You can then highlight how your software streamlines the process, making their life easier. Next, creating urgency. This is a psychological nudge that encourages the prospect to act now rather than later. Urgency can be the catalyst that turns a potential lead into a paying customer. Think about limited time offers or exclusive deals. They create a sense of urgency, prompting customers to make a decision before missing out on a great opportunity. Now, let's talk about the temperature check. It's about gauging your customer's interest and adjusting your approach accordingly. This step prevents you from coming on too strong or missing a buying signal. For example, you notice a customer expressing interest in a specific product feature. Adjust your pitch to highlight that feature, emphasizing its benefits to meet their needs precisely. Remember, you're trying to save save their pain and also create opportunities that make their life easier that works for what they need. Finally, not quite finally, but the next one is presenting solutions is where you showcase how your product or service solves a customer's problems. It's your time to shine, emphasizing the value, benefits and features of your product or service that relates to your potential customer. If you're selling a fitness app, your presentation could focus on personalized workout plans, progress tracking, and the convenience of exercising at home, catering to the customer's need for flexibility and convenience. Objections are part of the game. Overcoming objections is about turning roadblocks into opportunities, addressing concerns positively, and moving the conversation forward. For example, when a customer raises a common objection like price, instead of backing down, you can highlight the long-term value and benefits, making the cost seem justified. Don't make costs the issue. Talk about the other benefits that will satisfy that client or customer. Once again, remembering their pain points and what you're trying to solve. And finally, closing sales. This is where you seal the deal with finesse. Different closing techniques help you confidently guide the prospect to a decision. For example, utilize a trial closed by asking, would you prefer the standard or premium package? This assumes the close and encourages the customer to envision themselves making a purchase. So there you have it. Our seven step blueprint for mastering the art of sales. 
If you found these tips valuable and you're ready to elevate your sales game with personalized guidance, I invite you to work with me. I'm a certified business coach with over 40, 40 years of experience, but I'm still learning about sales. And because I'm still learning, I'm always looking for new ways to make that more of expertise. So that to me is important. You've got to keep learning. And if you can learn even a minor point from this, it can help your sales. I'm committed to empowering you with the simple yet effective tools to manage and achieve your business and personal goals. Let's transform your approach to sales together. Reach out for a personalized coaching experience that can truly make a difference. Contact me on my website or my mobile or send me an email. Love to talk to you and see where we can learn together. Thanks, thanks for listening.